This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Earth. Seriously, bro. Part 35. The final countdown. You hear that? Even the birds are happy. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The final countdown. 13 days until Comet Ison will be observable by a NASA satellite from October 10th through the middle of January 2014. I'm here to say Comet Ison is on its way. Kick ass. So the big countdown has begun. 13 days till all day, every day, 24 seven NASA photographs of really big, really awesome satellites. And no, I know some of these satellites aren't that big. They're like a bread box. So small, even Amy Manger can hold it under her arm. October 10th, 2013, the NASA Stereo Ahead satellite will observe Ison for the first time. That is great news. From that moment on, we will have a clear view of Ison 24 hours a day, seven days a week, till January 2014. We will be able to stalk Ison. Awesome. But let us say a prayer, because lately NASA has been having some trouble with their cameras and satellites. Apparently, the big reason we haven't gotten a new photograph from NASA is because their telescopes have been infected with a bug, a virus, nasty space swamp gas virus. So, not only is deep impact epoxy dead, spinning out of control, I have totally bogus, unofficial reports from an extremely untrustworthy source that was totally hammered when they told me this, but all of NASA's ground-based telescopes are now spinning out of control as well. Apparently they put like a big old cloth dome over the telescopes. Cause it's one thing to see like a satellite spinning out in space. It's another thing to watch a telescope that is bolted into the ground and start spinning around like Linda Blair's head in The Exorcist. I heard it, people saw it, it would freak them out. But like I said, that guy was probably making shit up for metaphorical and entertainment purposes or whatever. I don't know, I'm a total dumbass relative to what the entire universe itself knows. So there you go. Common Rise Part 35. Time to get excited. 13 days. On the 13th day of Common Ice, um, professional astronomers gave to me zero photos in five months. Anyway, at this point, it's anybody's guess. Wild card. Now let's kick on over to the Comet Ison observing campaign. In their words, they say, Comet of the century has been tossed around with abandon. Those are not the words of the C-I-O-C team. We think it highly unlikely. Comets are nothing if not unpredictable. Huh? Wait, hold on a second. I don't mean to be grammar police guys, but the hell does that sentence even mean, man? Comets are nothing. All right, so that's pretty solid. Com you're saying the comets are nothing, if not unpredictable. I mean, don't mean to Hemingway you here, bro, but are you basically just saying comets are unpredictable? Having nothing if not. There's like a double negative straight in the middle. <gasps> Maybe it's code. C-A-N-I-N-U-P. Canonoop. Right now, the afro, afro parameter. That's a real sciencey thing, dude. I did not make that up for comedic effect. The afro parameter indicates that Ison is somewhat more active than a typical comet, and it is producing a lot of very fine dust. There's that dust again. Why you always gotta be double dust in my mind. Comet Ison must at least be a reasonably large comet, as dust production is proportional to the size of the comet. I thought three to five kilometers was average, man. I don't wanna be a nitpicker, but sometimes, you math-minded guys use words like the X in a math problem, where it's just some variable like Smurf. Lots of dust production should be a large comet. Its brightness has remained more or less constant in 12 months. Well, if I did beat doom buckets with spoons, I'd say that, that sounds pretty cryptic. Maybe it is a spaceship. I don't think it's a neutron star because I just have a funny feeling those things travel really fast. So we know it is moderately big and we know it's quite active. That's what that NFL cheerleading team said to me. 
No, that's not true. I made that up. It was like a, that's what she said joke. But then I realized if you change up to that's what she said, the punchline loses all of its effect. And for that, I apologize. So we know it's moderately big, and we know it's quite active. But we are fairly sure it's not huge like Hale Bop was, man. That Titan was ginormous. Its nucleus was at least 30 kilometers. And kilometers like French people's way of saying mile. They think Hale Bop had a 4,200 year orbit and its perihelion was only 0.914 AU, astronomical units, distances from the sun to earth. Hey look, Ison is now on the Iswa. That is cool. We can now see how coronal mass ejections affect Ison. That is neato and new. Yeah, so NASA launched a balloon animal today into the atmosphere to help monitor Comet Ison. Bryson. Brr. Ison. Balloon. Rapid. Response. For Ison. The mission. The Comet Ison was discovered in September 2012 and is of great interest to scientists as it may hold clues to the formation of the solar system. The comet is believed to be making the first ever visit to the inner solar system. But before the comet's close approach to the sun in late November 2013, NASA will launch a special stratospheric balloon carrying a 0.8 meter telescope, optical and infrared sensors to study the comet from above nearly all of Earth's atmosphere. Comet Ison rendezvous in 2013. Due to the changes that can occur when the comet gets closer to the sun, Bryson will observe the comet before perihelion. What? Comets can change? Oh yeah, yes they can. I just forget, they just can't change in harmful ways, as science and government has reminded us a million times. Or at least Comet Ison. They've guaranteed us a hundred times, a hundred percent, there's going to be nothing negative about Ison, anyone, anywhere, ever. Thanks for that, guys. Comet Ison. Rendezvous in 2013. What? Due to the changes that can occur when the comet gets closer to the sun, Bryson will observe the comet before perihelion. Comets can change? Oh yeah, yes they can. I just forget, they just can't change in harmful ways, as science and government has reminded us a million times. Or at least Comet Ison. They've guaranteed us a hundred times, a hundred percent, there's going to be nothing negative about Ison to anyone, anywhere, ever. Thanks for that, guys. Hey, I'm not a doom flogger, bro. I have said all along, the number one thing I would most want from Comet Ison would be it to have with it some great divine energy that gets sprinkled on Earth. And hearts and minds are healed. Because I think ego is probably the biggest disease mankind has. But mathematics says that is probably not possible. Or probable. Or parallaxable. Two. I really want it to be this amazing, heavenly, celestial object in the sky for like two months. That gets everybody out at night. In the field, in the backyard, sitting in lawn chairs, laying on the ground, drinking beer, playing guitars, talking, and marveling at the universe around us. Because the modern overall attitude seems to be like, why you give a shit about Jupiter, the sun, and comets, you dumbass. And it's like, well, that was a good subject for about 30,000 years. Before television, and then the smartphone. And your selfies are not as cool as Jupiter, no matter how hot you are, darling. And it is time for you to now start planning your Halloween costume. Can you nope? Ain't it cool how comet dust is just normal dust, but somehow that normal comet dust turns into water, or turns stuff into water, or it like makes love with other dustesses, and then they, they have dust babies and turn into water. What? That don't make no damn sense. Science, are you messing with my head? Oh, that's why it's a dirty snowball. Because it's ass. Ass. Un. I get it now. Ice age coming. Ice age coming. Throw it in the fire. Throw it in the fire. Hashtag Radiohead. They are a good band. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that'll wrap up the big countdown. But we have just begun. I'm going to try and put out a countdown video every single day until we get to stereo. I hope you don't mind. Some of them might be short, some of them might be stupid, some of them might be silly. Heck, who knows? One of them might be the greatest thing of all time. And I only mean that in like a Thor News video context, really. 
So thank you for hanging around, sticking around. There's no way you made it this far, right? Okay, poop on a popsicle stick. Nobody likes that. See if I can get Dirty 30 out tomorrow. You guys have been very patient. Countdown begins. Very exciting. God bless everybody. I'll talk to you soon. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Bryson is back with a brand new mission. The atmosphere grabs a hold of it tightly. Flows like a heartbeat daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? No, I don't know. Icing is too cold. So let's go.